Hello everyone, my name is Andy Klingerman, and today my girlfriend is going to be modeling my makeup tutorial for you guys. So, first we start out by rubbing some clay on our face. Now this is really important for the foundation, for every other stuff that comes. See, the clay, it traps in the moisture on my skin, and it makes this brush more effective, because now I'm brushing in some antifungal powder. See, that's important, because fungus grows on your skin. Do you guys know that? Yeast actively grows on your skin on a regular basis. So this fungal powder around my eyes, and yep, yep, even on the chin there, and my little mustache area, it's important. It kills all the fungus that grows there. I'm still brushing, brushing. My face is a little itchy, too, so I'm killing two birds with one stone here. And now we get to paint on our face. So this is not traditional orthodox makeup this is uh this is actually watercolor pastel paint so the key is you put the paint on your face and then you kind of smooth it out and liquefy it with the antifungal brush powder that we've been using before and, and that serves another additional purpose so not only does it smooth out the watercolor pastel paint but it also adds an additional fungus protection layer, see? Yep, and be extra careful to get it around your eyes, because your eyes leak a lot. So, there you go. Oh, get the neck too a little bit. Okay, now it's time for the egg sponge. So, the egg sponge is a special makeup device. It's only sold in a few countries. The United States aren't so popular with it, but the egg sponge traps a lot of unique colors that you dye in it over 24 hours in a separate little water cup, but we'll get back to that later. Now we're moving on to the next step. So now we're gonna finger our eyelids a little bit, and this is just to prepare our eyes for the next step, but basically what it does is it lightens them a little bit. It, it adds a little liveliness to them, and see, this is the next step that I was talking about. So now we're brushing our eyes with some antibacterial dark puff powder paste. And that's pretty key, because it protects us against pink eye. And it makes our eyes pop. You really want that pop, you know? So again, we're accomplishing two birds with one stone here. Yep, yep. You want to smooth in that antibacterial powder a lot. It's going to complement the antifungal powder because some things are weak to both of those. Alright, brush that in, brush it in real nice. There we go. Alright, keep brushing, keep brushing, get both eyes really nice now. You see, I've been doing makeup for a lot of years. My girlfriend's a little bit inexperienced, so she may take a little bit longer on these steps than I would, but that's okay. Okay, now we're on to crimping our eyelashes. So crimping eyelashes is pretty key here. It's going to reflect snowflakes and precipitation from getting into our eyes. It really serves no other purpose besides that, but if you want to maintain your eye quality and clarity you need to block that precipitation so yep go ahead and crimp both eyes and you'll see that spiky brush she's using it's actually referred to as spiky brush and you dip it in some more black pastel paint and that adds a waterproof barrier between the precipitation in your eyes so that's pretty key you want to block out that moisture with the, the pastel paint all right guys we're almost done just go ahead and take a Sharpie marker. I prefer fine tip points because they're a lot easier to detail for beginners. That's what my girlfriend's doing here. And go ahead and draw little pointy arrows on your eyes. You want to angle them at about 30 degrees. And this is again going to make our eyes pop a little bit. And again, trap in that antibacterial powder that we sprayed on earlier. All right, just a few finishing touches with the antifungal powder again. Gonna go on the sides, cheeks here. Yep, there we go. Uh -huh. 
Some of this antifungal powder is a little bit lighter than the stuff that we used previously. And that's to kind of liven up our face a little bit and just make our, our cheeks pop for effect. Alright guys, this is a pretty key step too. Now we're going to protect our eyebrows from precipitation. So this is called the eyebrow marker. And it's a little bit different than the spiky brush, but it basically accomplishes the same, the same task for our eyebrows. So right now we're locking out all the precipitation that could come in contact with our eyebrow hair. Because our eyebrows are super important, you know, they say a lot about us. You walk up to a person, what's the first thing you see? Oh, it's their eyebrows, obviously. You gotta keep those intact, you know? So protect them with some of this pastel waterproof paste stuff. Mm-hmm. Keep brushing your eyebrows. You wanna make them symmetrical, you know? You don't wanna be asymmetrical. You don't wanna be wonky looking. Go over them with the spiky brush. Again, we're using the same kind of pastel paint on the spiky brush and the and the uh, eyebrow marker, so it's okay to interchange those guys a little bit. Okay, we're in, adding a little bit more antifungal paste to our eyes. Again, uh, my girlfriend's a little bit inexperienced with makeup, so she's going over some of the same steps again, just for effect to make sure she's covered her antifungal paste. Okay, last waterproofing step, guys, and I promise we're done. Now we're going to waterproof and lock our lips. So this red blushy stuff that we're using on our lips is especially important. It's antifungal, antibacterial, combination, antiviral paste. And it's waterproofing. It does all those th things, guys, all in one step. So make sure you do it. It's essential for, for maintaining our image. Just make sure that's nice and even on your lips. Puff your eyebrows up a little bit. Go ahead and some spray spray. That's some waterproof spray again. Do some weird head motions just to, just to get it out of the way. Yep, waterproof that and smile.